Servus guys and welcome to another tutorial of mine. I'm showing you today the digital miner from Mechanism and I'm not showing you how to build this thing and how to craft this uh, thing. Um, I'm showing you to how to use it properly and uh, yeah with its basic functions. And uh, yes, of course you need a digital miner, you need some kind of energy source and uh, some cables to connect the energy source to your digital miner. I'm using universal cable. And yeah, it's always nice to have a question hammer with you because, um, well, if you right click and hold shift, then you dismantle the, uh, the digital miner. And by just right clicking on the digital miner, you move um, the digital miner around, which is quite uh, important, uh, which uh, will be um, clear after some minutes. Well, first of all, just build the digital miner, right click on it, and there you have it, its interface. Uh, on the right side you see the power bar, you can have some speed uh, and um, energy enhancements, just click on them or um, well, or just click in this field on the upper right and uh, they move into the digital miner. On the other side you got some functions like auto eject, pull off mode, silk touch and it shows you also uh, how many items there uh, are to mine and um, well the most important thing is the config menu. On the left side, there are some basic facts like uh, radius, so you can uh, you tell the miner uh, how many blocks uh, should he, well, yeah, mine around him. The maximum is uh, 32, and the same is with the height uh, from zero. That means uh, bedrock to maximum height 255. So this is a basic setup. Um, the next thing is, of course, the filter. Because the, the digital miner uh, compared to a quarry is uh, different, you have to tell the digital miner what to mine. And uh, there are four ways um, how to tell the digital miner. I'm showing you the first two, the item stack and uh, the or dictionary. Item stack just works like you feel it. <laughs> just place something from your uh, item stack into uh, the upper left corner, just click save and there you have it. The problem with this is now I'm using here copper ore for example. Um, copper ore and this is the copper ore from the mod forestry for Minecraft. So if, if we check, um, well, let's, let's just type copper ore in and uh, then you will see we got a lot of copper ores in, in my uh, mod pack for example, Galactic Craft, Industrial Craft, Tinker's Construct and so on. The problem with the uh, item stack filter is that only the exact copy of your thing in your item stack will be mined. So, um, for example, the copper uh, from Industrial Craft won't be mined uh, with this filter. And uh, so we have to um, yeah, enhance the filter. If you stopped the miner, uh, you have to click reset and then the config menu will be available again. So um, we are going for another filter. So um, yeah, that's uh, also important to know if you uh, right click with shift, um, push down uh, with the crescent hammer on the um, digital miner, you won't lose your filters. So now we click on the or dictionary and the or dictionary, yeah, it's, it's just like having the right syntax um, to tell the digital miner what to mine. And it's always uh, the same way, it's called OR and then with capital letter you write for example copper or iron or whatever. You just put uh, in uh, the right click thing there and uh, save and then you will see that the image of the copper will change. There you see it because it's switching all the different copper types um, for all mod packs which are connected through the OR dictionary and now you see we started the miner uh, the miner and we got 1200 uh, and something um, ores to mine and uh, this this is quite important so um, these two filters are uh, yeah important for you the item filter is um, well let's say I I am using the item stack filter um, when I want to have uh, like a coal or um, gravel, for example, yeah, or obsidian, um, all things that are not um, yeah different uh, throughout um, the mod packs. So everything else uh, should be um, 
yeah, you should go over the or dictionary and I will um, give you a link into the uh, description box uh, where you can find some uh, yeah listings for some or dictionaries. And yeah, so you're, you're going to um, set some more filters and uh, enhance your, your mining and um, yeah, just start your miner again and you will see that a lot of uh, things will be mined. So there's silk touch to enable, just click the S, uh, the S button, uh, which consumes, of course, a lot more energy to do. Um, with ores, it's not that yeah, necessary. Um, it's more necessary for gravel, for example, or things that uh, break, um, let's say redstone. Um, yeah. And uh, now I show you what is all about the auto eject and the auto pull things. We got two holes. <laughs> the digital miner got two holes on its back and on its top. And I'm just using some chests now. You can use any logistic system or whatever. And the thing is, um, the digital miner got uh, its own inventory and when it's full, um, it won't mine again and you can have the auto eject button uh, or auto eject turned on, then everything will be pushed out uh, from its pack. Uh, it's quite, uh, yeah, uh, let's say witty. And um, yeah, you can have some logistical pipes up there or whatever, uh, it doesn't uh, care and um, yeah, we'll output everything that's gonna be mined. The other thing is the auto pull function, which means, um, yeah, the digital miner works that way that if you got some ore somewhere, it will mine the ore, for example, like this. And uh, uh, let's try and test, but it won't work at the moment. And uh, well, it will leave an open space like uh, this. So just, uh, it disappears and you have a hole in your in your room or in your world and now you can tell the digital miner to fill up this hole with planks for example yeah just you just right click um, the digital miner and on the upper right there's a thing called um, you will see it replace block just put your block in there which uh, should be filled in and when you click start it will automatically fill up all um, the, the spaces with this block and uh, if you got some kind of cobblestone source for example you just uh, yeah insert uh, your endless cobblestone pro production into this chest and whenever um, yeah an ore is mined then uh, a cobblestone will be um, placed into this hole and whenever now an ore is, uh, yeah, mined, you see um, one plank is dropping off. And this is, uh, well, this is the main function or the main functions. There are, of course, some some specialties uh, to all, um, still to discover for you. Uh, yeah, there's some speed upgrades, energy upgrades, which you can uh, insert there. But more or less, these are, uh, from my point of view, the most important things. And you should now be able to yeah, handle uh, the digital miner uh, properly, and um, yeah, it's 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 really a, a really great um, machine for mechanism. It's really awesome, and um, it's it's a real opponent for uh, a quarry or co. <laughs> so uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed it. Have fun rebuilding this, and. Yeah, let's see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice week, have a nice day and see you next time. Servus, guys.